Okay, so ready and contact, and off we go. We switch our light on, and we are blinking. Now we're not. Good. So let's go, everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. I sure hope it will be cool. It will be something that we can all have a laugh and uh, enjoy a moment to chill out and watch some, watch another dude riding his bike. <laughs> so many of us out there. But anyway, anyway, let's begin. I'm going yes, braking and suspension, not just the engines, but that is especially today nowadays that is what's got my attention really really the braking systems and the suspension systems they have nailed it man have you heard about the ktm gt among others this is a bike that adjusts the suspension and the abs system according not just to the terrain but to the leaning angle on the bike that is just phenomenal Bosch has come up with a system where you can just slam the brakes no matter what speed, what terrain, and what angle you're leaning. That is just... Well, anyway, back to my bike. It's exactly 30 years old this December. And uh, am I proud? Ask me if I'm proud. Yes, I am. I am proud of my VFR 750. I'll tell you what. But um, check it out, MCN has a cool review on that bike. So if any of you are wondering why have I got in front of you this box, that is because what the dyno does is that it will put weight on the bike and it will simulate your, um, what I'm doing here, this riding conditions where I'm accelerating and, and braking on this weight on the road and you cannot synchronize your carbs if you do not apply these dynamics this forces dynamics this this acceleration and this braking because you don't have an accurate reading i'll explain to you about that a little more in our next video i'm gonna catch this green light very nice and smooth yeah baby don't you love it when it works this way Let's go. And we're not even exceeding the speed limit. We're not even racing. We're just cruising along, filling the grip on the tires. Which means it's easier to just do, keep them on and keep the hoses maintained and, uh, and adjust whenever there's a problem or a misadjustment than having to fit the entire system on every time. That's just not for me. Uh, I have to take off the fairing every time I need to do an adjustment. And if I find out that there is no adjustment to make after I, after I took off the fairing and I plug in all the system, and then it's just a waste of time. I'd rather just keep them on and I keep monitoring all the time. And whenever there is an adjustment to be made, I just do it. Finished. That's a nice old building, huh? Check it out. I'm getting a lot of attention from everybody because this bike has been fitted with customized luggage system and that I will be revealing more information to you about along the way. Um, a rather phenomenal luggage system. So where was it? I'm talking to you about my my um, my setup for the carburetors, and uh, the reason why they are on all the time, and uh, what is it that I'm after? What is it that I'm trying to achieve by doing that? Here we are, Muddysworth Castle, it's quite a location, it's nice inside, a lot of history. The lake is rather low at the moment, I have to go and fish here, some very nice local fish you can get in the local restaurants. So here we go, we're going to head back to the house 
and we're gonna see one of the most more more time Merzberg. There it is. And we'll head back to the house. And as we do that, I tell you, I was telling you about the VFR and why I bought it. And why I think any of you who hasn't bought a VFR is because you are after something else. I mean the inline four engine in my opinion Apart from the fact that I haven't actually um, ridden an inline four ever, and I'm looking forward to it because I hear that is uh, the smoothness of the smooth, the smoothest of the smooth. There is no clunkiness to it at all, and I like that. I like the turbine sort of uh, feel, you know. And uh, so yeah, I am looking forward to ride um, an inline four. But I just think that the V engine has much character, and that there is a lot more um, to work for a man. Everybody knows that. Unimaginable, Un unimaginable engine. You cannot imagine it. Another V, another V four engines I have tested. Was the V Max, and this is the new V Max I'm talking about, the 2013 V Max. I actually tried that net last year, and I can tell you that that is the only bike that has made an impression on me, aside this one. And so, well. You know, all of you inline four lovers, just simply uh, please write your comments below and tell me more about your engines because I'm after an inline four and I think it's going to be the Kawasaki uh, set 14, you know, the big guy. I think I get the, um, I've got the, the name wrong. Is it ZX14R? Yeah, it is. ZX14R. The big guy. You know, the big guy. And so we head back to the house before it goes to complete sub-zero conditions and we start finding icy roads on the way. And I'm not going to try to make this green. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. And I didn't. I tell you this, guys, for a word of experience. The amount of accidents that happen because we try to catch the green. Don't. Don't ever try to catch the green unless you, uh, unless you just catch it. But don't try catching the green. Don't ever try catching the green. Just catch it if you do, you know. But as soon as it is a, oh, I must see if I, you know, I must try. I must, I must check to see if I can. As soon as you are in that, in that, in that bracket, that's it, man. That's it. It's all over. Even if it isn't. The point is that you are you are crossing the boundary of risk. You are in the red zone, man. As, so, as soon as you're trying, you're in the red zone, big time. So don't. Don't ever, you know, just do it. If you're not just doing something, then you're trying. And when you're trying, you're exposing yourself to catastrophe. Take my word for it. Particularly referring to the Isle of Man TT. I tell you, mate, if these guys were trying, were anything but like trying, you know, you can't. You can't do a, you can do an Isle of Man TT by trying. You just do it. You know, it's not thinking. It's the same on the road. It's the same on the road. When you when you have to think, shall I, shall I not? The answer is always not. Always don't. Okay, as soon as you're thinking, shall I, shall I not, the answer is always don't. Just don't. Okay, enjoy the braking. You know, braking is cool. Braking is a great experience. Don't think twice for braking, just brake. Brake, slow down. It's the best thing about braking, you've got to accelerate again, right? There is a curve here that I love. When I don't get it, I don't get it. When I do, I do. But you've got to get it on the green, because if you don't, then there's traffic coming on the other side, and then you don't get it. So I don't try to get the green this time. I just go, and if I get it, I get it. Here it is. Love this curve. I go wide, 
Brake hard, release, accelerate again, yum. And what did I do there? I, did, I didn't break the speed limit, I didn't, you know, I went slow, I did nothing. But it, but, I got it right. I got it right. And I can do that much faster than that if I try, but I'll probably get it wrong. And I don't mean accident wise, I mean getting the correct line, you know, getting the correct brake in the correct force. It's, it's way more fun for me to do it right. Fast is not always right. This curve, I love this curve here. You come like this, you don't see where you're going and you close in like that. Whack! And you're on this line. Zoom. Just about the um, the pedals. About the inline four, I would appreciate. Write the comments below. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think. I hear that it's like a turbine. And that really, really clicks my fancy, you know, um, because of what this is what I like about the V4, that V and a V engine is uh, super smooth. So um, you get the best of all worlds. And whenever you hear something like the best of all worlds, then what else is there to look at? So it's very hard for me to replace this VFR. And the VFR 800s looks are not quite there yet. I think it's a it's a design in progress that hasn't quite arrived to what it's going to arrive. And uh, this, as far as this bike looks, is concerned. <laughs> not, not much about from an electric razor, right? Not far out from that, but um, yeah. So it looks aren't aren't you know aren't exactly what to, what I'm after on a bike. But when we're talking a new bike that you don't like the look, then that's a bad start, you know. Um, I don't mind the looks of this bike, considering when it was made. I really don't mind it at all. I'm just comparing it with today's bikes. It's just no comparison. But anyway, the BFR 800, the new BFR 800, it must be, it must be something out of this world, I'm sure. But. It's not the VFR 1200, you know what I mean? That's the... That's, I'm, I did this curve one time and I and I back shifted and I left the clutch out and the back just went out like crazy, man. <laughs> I went, whoa! Like that. <laughs> it was uh, one of my first... Well, one of my first few times on a, on a big bike this is my first big bike, by the way. And I have ridden all the ones. I ridden, you know, a bike I do like, Motor Guzzi California, the new one. I really like that bike, but it's not my Guzzi. I'm looking for a Guzzi in particular. Um, click below which one do you think it might be, you know. One Guzzi in particular is really, really one I'm after. It's 90s, 90s build. Is inverted forks 90s build with ABS and a basic adjustment uh, on the suspension. So have a guess. If any of you guessed, I will uh, send you a nice uh, present. I don't know a, a, a price. A price. I will send you a price. I don't know what it is yet, but along the way of this model blog, think of something cool. I'll think of something cool. Trust me, it will be something that when you get it, you'll go, excuse me, when you get it, you'll think, that's cool. Anyway, we're home now. Nice view. Nice welcoming view, don't you think? Not too fast, not too mad. There's no need to tell everybody that I'm in town. I don't like that. Right there guys, so thanks for watching, I thought I'd say goodbye with uh, this uh, detail of a bike and I'm recording this with my phone, just uh, just uh, goodbye and thanks for watching and see you on our next video where we're going to cover more detail, we're going to cover more in detail this, this business here about our um, Synchro uh, carburetor synchronization method. So, um, 
stay tuned and uh, see you all next time. Take care.